Hi everyone, and welcome to the Lisa Lashes School of Music YouTube channel. We're going to be uploading fun tutorials on music production, so click the subscribe button to stay in the loop. We're bringing it back to basics today, and going through the first things you need to know when you use Ableton as an absolute beginner. So what is Ableton? Ableton is one of the most popular digital audio workstations called DAW for short. It is used by music producers, live gigging musicians and DJs to create music and perform live. Upon opening up Ableton, the setup may seem intimidating at first. However, it's one of the easiest DAWs to learn in my opinion. Ableton has a straightforward workflow that makes it easy to get started in music production. Let's jump straight in. So upon opening up Ableton, this is the first screen you'll come across. I'd like to first take a look at this arrow on the top left corner of your screen. Upon pressing it, a box appears with a browser window. The browser allows you to find and use all sounds, presets and plugins. And it is split into three sections, collections, categories underneath and places. Now, I'd like to focus in on categories. The category section shows all items categorized. We have sounds, drums, instruments, audio effects, MIDI effects, Max for Live, plugins, clips, samples, grooves, and templates. Now, sounds contain all instruments and instrument presets categorized by the sound they make. Drums contain drum presets and include drum kits and drum hits, such as, say, hi-hats. Instruments organize instrument devices and racks. Audio effects contain audio effects, presets and audio effect racks. MIDI effects contain all MIDI effect racks and devices. Max for Live contain all Max for Live presets and devices. Plugins contain all third party plugin devices such as VSTs. Clips contain and organize all clips. Sample organize all samples. And grooves can be used to affect the timing and feel of each clip in your set. And you can also add into your project any templates. So for example, a template of a project you find useful, you can um, find those through templates. Now I'd like to draw your attention to the places section. This includes packs, the user library, current projects, and any folders you import yourself. And also you can add more folders from your computer by using the add folder button. So let's go to packs first. So the pack section contains all pre-installed packs from Ableton and any packs you have imported yourself into your computer. You can also get more packs by pressing this button here from the Ableton website. The user library is your go-to place for saving and easily finding your own instruments, clips, presets, samples, and anything else. Current project shows all the files and samples in the project you're working on actively at that time. This is a folder I have uploaded myself by using the add folder um, button here at the bottom. So I can browse my computer or my external hard drive to find any folders I'd like to import into Ableton so I can find easily. So, um, what I'd like to come back to now is actually packs because this is something you're going to use a lot in your production journey. Sample packs, you can buy them or you can download them for free. They contain clips of sounds that you can use as building blocks to make your track. An example of a sound is a piano melody or a drum kick. So let's go into my samples which I've loaded up from my computer and I've actually got a melody sample which I can click on and I will get a preview of the sound and I can hear it so so 
So that is my melody. And then if I go down and select my other sample, which is a kick sample, I can again preview that and listen to it. So that's my kick. Awesome. When you've got your samples and you'd like to load something into Ableton, what you can do is simply drag and drop these sounds into an audio channel. So I've loaded up my melody sample into this channel, this vertical channel, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my kick sample and load it into a separate audio vertical channel. So drag and drop. There we go. And that is the browser. Now I will be going over um, in more detail uh, the different categories um, in further videos. So looking into like things like instruments or audio effects and how to use them and load them. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Click the like and subscribe button if this video has helped you in any way. Hope to see you in the next episode where I'll be continuing the first things you should know when using Ableton as an absolute beginner.